Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial Course Code U18MB204. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Warangal. In this video lecture, we will discussing about uh, one problem in section of solids. I have taken uh, this problem from Engineering Drawing by NDB Textbook. The problem number is 14.3. Let us see the question. A cube of 35 mm long edges is resting on, on the HP on one of its faces with a vertical face inclined at 30 degrees to the VP. It is cut by a section plane inclined at 60 degrees to the VP and perpendicular to the HP so that the face which makes 60 degrees angle with the VP is cut in two equal halves. Draw the sectional front view, top view and true shape of the section. Here the given solid is cube that means each edge length is 35 mm and all are equal, equal faces. Six cube having six square faces. Each edge length is 35 mm. This cube is resting on the HP, so we can see the true shape on the top view. First, this problem is 50% problem similar to projection of solids. First, let us draw the XY line. Now, here one of its face, that means vertical face, inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. First, draw the 30 degrees line. On that 30 degrees line, we need to construct a uh, square. Each edge length is 35 mm. This is the 30 degrees inclination line. One of its space makes 30 degrees to the VP. This is the initial top view for the given problem. Uh, when we are seeing from top side, top face is visible and bottom face is invisible here bottom face I have taken as A, B, C, D and top face 1, 2, 3, 4 this is the 1 of A that means 1 point is visible A point is invisible already I said but top face I have taken 1, 2, 3, 4 bottom face I have taken A, B, C, D so 1 of A 1 is visible A is invisible similarly 2 of B 3 of C 4 of D this is the initial top view. From each and every corner point, uh, we need to draw the projectors to for constructing front view. From A point, fourth point, B, D point, B and C. Here, next we need to construct uh, front view for the given cube model. The cube height is 35 mm. Uh, now, draw the projections look, look at the points this is the bottom face a dash this is the d dash point this is the b dash point this is the c dash point from each and every point draw the vertical projector that means vertical edge length the edge length is 35 mm from a dash from c dash now join those when we are seeing from this side this back edge that means 4D, 4D edge is invisible, so we can represent it as a dash line, D dash and 4 dash. Next, from B dash, this edge is visible, 1 of A, 2 of B, 3 of C. These three edges are visible and 4D edge is invisible, so we can represent with dash line. Now join this one, locate them, <coughs> give the names, that is 1 dash top is 1 dash, 4 dash, this is the 2 dash and this is the 3 dash. <coughs> now give the dimension. You can give, give the dimension for uh, cube height or cube edge because all edges are equal. You can give the dimension for this vertical edge or this uh, horizontal edge. <coughs> this edge length is 35 mm. This, this procedure is similar like uh, projection of solids. Now let us uh, take one section plane. Here the given section plane 
inclined at 60 degrees to the VP. That means it is also perpendicular to HP. Uh, so that the face which makes 60 degrees angle with the VP is cut in two equal halves. Let us see. Take one section plane. The section plane name is horizontal trace. This section plane makes 60 degrees width to the VP. 60 degrees to the VP. The section plane name is horizontal trace because this plane makes horizontal plane. So that's why we have taken as horizontal trace section plane. They give the angle that is 60 degrees. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, write as pi symbol. This section plane cuts for this condition. That means it it is cut into two equal halves. For this condition, we can uh, take section plane cut at the midpoint of AD. This space are to BC. This space here I have taken as AD space. When we are cut, when we are take the section plane passing through the AD midpoint, it gives two equal halves. Here the cutting points are P1. P1 means AD cutting point P1. Next bottom one AB cutting point P2. Next P3. Bottom piece cutting point P1, P2. Top face cutting points P3 and P4. Top face means 1 to cutting point, 1 to edge cutting point P3, 1 4 cutting edge point P4. This is the uh, we, this is the in the top view direction. Now draw the projectors from P1 and P2 uh, in uh, this front view. Uh, here he is asking that draw the sectional front view. After completion of this uh, extension of these two projectors, now draw the section lines for uh, first locate the cutting points. This is the P1 dash, P2 dash, this is the P3 dash, P4 dash. Now draw the section plane for this section that is P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash. Here we need to draw the hatching lines. This hatching lines makes 45 degrees with x, y and line space between any two lines. That is, you can take 1 to 2 mm. This is the sectional front view for the given problem. The next question is top view, sectional top view. Here, uh, when we are constructed the section frame, just you can, we can remove this portion, this P1. Uh, this portion we can just we can remove this triangular portion the remaining portion is called sectional top view so we can uh, represent with thick continuous lines p4 4 4 3 3 2 2 p3 this is the sectional top view we can represent with a thick continuous line the remaining portion is thin line that means uh, uh, removed part. The last question is draw the true shape of the section. Let us see how to draw the true shape. When, when we are seeing from perpendicular to horizontal trace plane, we can get true shape for the given problem. From P1 and P2 points, uh, before draw the projectors, just we can take one more new reference line that is parallel to this horizontal trace. This is the x1, y1. This is a new, new, new reference line. This is parallel to this section plane. From cutting points, draw the vertical projectors to this x1, y1 line. From P1, P1, P4. Next P2, P3. Next, next see the next after the procedure uh, for like axial method how to locate the p1 p2 p3 p4 for new reference line let us see uh, take where here p1 dash and p2 dash both points are on xy so directly you can take as p1 dash p2 dash points on this x1 y1 line on p1 p2 projector lines first one p1 here i have taken new 
new new point that is p1 double dash p2 double dash because these two points are on xy because the cube is resting on the hp so these two points are on xy y1 line next locate the remaining two more points that p3 dash and p4 dash now take your engineering compass measure the distance for p3 dash from xy that is 35 mm the cube cube that edge length is 35 so from p1 dash draw the arc take 35 mm radius draw the arc on this p1 projector line and p2 projector both are same this is the p3 dash and this is the p4 dash now join p1 double dash p2 double dash p3 double dash p4 double dash it gives true shape for the given problem now draw the hatching lines for this portion it gives true shape for the given problem this is the uh, sectional front view this is the sectional top view and this is the true shape for the given problem here the important condition is uh, face which makes 60 degrees angle with VP it is cut to equal ops if this condition not given you can take uh, any point on AD, AD, AD face if the condition given you can take midpoint of AD, ADH or BCH I hope this problem is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends.